I'm Connor and today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Shogun 2 Total War Online 2v2. I have this uh, video was pre-recorded or this battle sorry. I was playing this battle just to test it out and well you'll see the outcome in a very very short time indeed. But I'm going to uh, start these strategy videos or just online battles and talk you through what I'm doing. Most of them will be live. The majority will be live. I was just recording this to see what the frame rate was like because I mean this game is pretty well it takes a lot to run this game if it's everything up full. So I just was messing about with the settings and blah blah blah. And, okay let's get on with it. Okay. I am on a 2v2 map in a 2v2 team. And the guy I have with me is called Colonel Celtic and he is well you can only really play the Japanese in Shogun 2 until the expansion pack comes out. Where I think he plays the West, now I'm not sure. But okay, let's do our enemies first. I'm gonna go through what units they have and what units I'm using and Yeah, I'll just play the battle after I show what that he's using anyway. He's using he's got one unit of Naganata attendants and another of uh are they Flintlock Monks, I think they are, he's renamed his unit to second unit which is very creative and there's his bow uh, Samurai which he's named first unit which is very creative also oh and look there's his first Katana Samurai Battalion which is actually, he, all his names are quite strange uh, just he gives them second warrior monks and blah 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 and they're, uh, uh, what's, there's another group of warrior monks and there's another group of Naganata attendants, I believe. I'm not really sure. These guys seem to have like sort of a turban or a cowl going on. So, and there's more warrior monks. Only uh, they're mounted on cavalry. So, and I think this is the general. Now these are equipped with both a bow, a long bow, and a katana. So they can basically use either from range a bow and then get close in with the katana to cut down their enemies. And another. Uh, little unit of cavalry uh, warrior monks and his ally has one unit of samurai another uh, unit of longbow monks more monks warrior monks uh, I believe these are Naganata attendants as well I have never seen these units it's been about six months since I've actually played this game it had quite a few problems with uh, real tech sound uh, on board sound drivers and things and it wouldn't run it frees your computer so yeah I've just got back on there I think it was patched out or the problem was solved with the patch he's got another unit of spear uh, samurai and his general he doesn't seem to have a bow he's just his unit is only equipped with uh, katana is that it nope he's got more oh there they are there longbow mounted samurai cavalry <coughs> and uh, spear warrior monks mounted and they may have units hidden I'm not sure right I'll go to my ally first and if I do sound a bit coarse and I do apologize but it was some potties the <laughs> day yesterday and well you know I'm Irish I have to go out and I did go out and I drank quite a lot and I'm still <laughs> got a hangover so uh, got a group of mounted spear samurai here what else has he got? What's this? Uh, Spear Ashigaru or Yari Ashigaru. They're like basically pikemen. Another group of uh, Yari Ashigaru. Another group of Yari Ashigaru. Uh, group of Spear Samurai. His general. Uh, only equipped with a katana. No uh, longbow there. More Spear Samurai. Uh, more Spear Samurai. More Spear Samurai. What else have you got in the front lines here? Is that uh, archers? No, flintlock samurai and longbow ashigaru and more longbow ashigaru. Ashigaru are basically just the drafted units, the peasants who are conscripted to fight and over to my army. I think I've got a considerable amount more battalions than the rest of the guys. I do have less cavalry, I think. I've got my. Uh, first group of samurai warriors and I've got a, quite a few groups of samurai and I've got my bow ashigaru longbow man I've got another group of uh, samurai warriors 
more bow ashy gallery. I think I have two battalions of bow ashy gallery all together. And they have, I think, four or five groups of samurai warriors. Katana wielding samurai, not the spear or the naganata. And my general, of course, he is not equipped with a longbow, only katana. And over to my main force. I have some uh, Flintlock uh, Ashigaru. Two groups of them. No, three groups, sorry. I think I've got. Yeah, three groups of Flintlock Ashigaru. Or Matchlock. Flintlock's a pistol, I think. And I've got one group, two group, three groups. Three groups of Yari Ashigaru. Pikmen, basically. And one group of. <laughs> Cannon fodder, any of them. Uh, samurai, uh, no, not Samurai, sorry. Katana wielding Ashigaru. And what's this? Another group of. Yeah, another group of Lone Sword Ashigaru. Basically, Katana wielding peasant swordsman. Normal run of the mill fighting force for the Japanese armies. Uh, and another group of Katana Samurai at the back here just protecting the flanks. Oh, and uh, Yari Cavalry, just basic Samurai Cavalry. Wielding a spear. So let's get the battle underway and I talk through what I did and try and commentate on what my enemies and ally were trying to do. So at the start of this battle, my ally he moved up the whole right flank here to the to the east and he wanted to capture these strategic points, the archery dojo, and I think at the start of this battle my two enemies here were trying to join up forces because they were considerably outnumbered here. Even up in the top right here, uh, shows the uh, morale bar. We had just about, I'd say, five or ten percent more men than them overall in the battle. And I, what I am doing is move. There's a strategic point here which I seized here. It's a hill just, just below, and I, I'm going to place my archers here. Just, I think I've disabled the mouse and fraps, but on this hill, I'm going to move my. Uh, y uh, Yari Ashigaru, my pigmen in front with my archers behind and hopefully be able to hit his guys from range. Now he sends these uh Naganata attendants in to capture this point, but I'm not really concerned about the point at all, so what I want ideally in this battle is to hit him from range, batter him, try and get his attention, try and get him to move in close, and then get my um uh, lock units in the range because they're quite they have they have got nowhere near the range that the longbow men do so what I wanted to do is get them into the line and get them firing bring down a hell or a heel of bullets and a, a, a hell storm down upon my enemies and it as you'll see later it actually does work now I keep the rest of my units in the back because I did notice that he had bow samurai somewhere here Yes, and both samurai are incredibly dangerous. If you've upgraded them to a certain point, they can do a hell of a lot of damage. And uh, quite frequently online, you do go against people who just basically fill their armies with both samurai and with fully upgraded. But I do move my men down further a bit here. Now I just want I'm going to pick off these Naganata attendants, but I'm not really too fussed about losing my archers, they're only uh, Ashigaru, so they're not really that important to me, but what I really, really need to do is get my uh, uh, Matchlock units up front, if they're in range they can bring so much hurt down upon uh, the enemy forces that it might just lower their morale and get them to rout. Now my ally on the right hand side, he doesn't really have any trouble whatsoever taking these two points, he's just ran through, took taking his whole army and just stormed these two points. But it was too easy for him. I mean my enemies have already grouped up in one huge group here. And the only thing standing between them and this point is me, but they have already captured this. But as I said I'm not too concerned about that. As you see here, I'm just bringing uh, heels of arrows down upon these and these men just to try and get them all of their attention on me. Because I want my ally, he's got less men than me and all he's got is Ashigaru. Just basic pikmen. Peasant pikmen if you play any of the other Total War games, they're not really that useful. And then you just keep my uh, cavalry here on the left hand flank just in case 
I need to, well I did notice here at this point, I noticed that his general was on his own. But if I did send my cavalry up to try and get him to rout, he still got cavalry here within range. Now, what's, my ally sat here until I made the first move. He's got a few groups of men here fighting cavalry, but the enemy monk cavalry. But he wasn't having too much trouble. He had them outnumbered and as you can see he has a spear samurai coming in just to assist. And see if he can route the rest of those uh, warrior monks on horseback. So I'm spearheading this assault so far. I'm trying to, to get these guys to right here, these Naganata attendants. And I, I am back, as I said, I have, I've just returned to this game now. I'm not sure what their capabilities are. That's a lovely hat he's wearing. Lovely. Uh, but I don't want to risk sending men in just in case. Now I do make a move pretty soon. It assumes he's been just hit with a wave of cavalry there. I, I wasn't quite sure he had any cavalry left. He must have been hiding his cavalry in the forests at the back. These woods. So I think at this point I try to move my men in. Now he's distracted on the right flank here. Well sorry both of them are. And uh, let's see. The black flags and the red flags are my enemies. Black and red and red and green. So this guy Nazarim his forces have already been whittled down quite a bit by my allies' cavalry uh, charges and uh, spear assault from his infantry and cavalry. So he's lost the bulk of his cavalry, as you can see here. There's quite a lot of dead horses and corpses and things that are in the battlefield. So at this point, I'm going to move my archers in to range of their archers so that their archers are firing at my archers. But as you can see, that these archers aren't really important to me die quite easily so I move my spearmen down or my pikemen down and I'm going to create a protective wall just in front of this dojo here this sword dojo and in behind me I'm going to move my uh, matchlock riflemen Ashigaru and see if I can speed this up a little bit now if my ally hadn't got this guy distracted on the right I mean, he's got the bulk of his uh, range units firing at me. Well, he hasn't got that many range units, to be honest. He hasn't got many, much of anything. He's got a few uh, monk wielding, monks wielding bows there, long bows, but they look like they've already been, you know, cut down. Yeah, they, they've lost half their men. And I don't know what he's doing with that small group of monks. I mean, he's not going to turn into bulletproof monk or anything. He's not going to destroy the whole army. Or sign that bulletproof mug, uh, the Forbidden Kingdom. So as you can see, I'm moving my matchlock men in here. But they're... Oh, that's a cannon fodder. I want them to come in and take the brunt of the fire. Because I... Earlier, before I just sent them men in, I noticed that they had quite a few melee units lined up here. But if these guys can get in and just take the damage, my, it'll give my uh, matchlock Ashigaru time to get in and line up for the attack. And I think they are lined up, but I don't think they're close enough. Or are they? Shameful just bright. Uh, yeah, so we're firing. Now these match these Ashigaru are I keep repeating this, they are not useful to me and I'm kind of a, a heartless commander. I would just send these guys in and keep my elites at the back, my samurai. I always keep the samurai for the last only if I need them, and when I do need them, they do their job well. They're quite experienced, they're, they're veterans these units. I've been using them from the start of the uh, online campaign. Right, now I've got his men to come in a little bit closer. He's in range of my matchlock. His enemy, he's got, uh, my ally has his bowmen in the back. He's got quite a, a lot of long bowmen. You can see a heel of arrows there, cutting down the enemy, charging my matchlock. My general here just uh, is just here in the beside the, my uh, matchlock and the rest of me is just providing support, uh, moral support. So I got a, quite a few bowmen at the back here. My enemies seem they've lost the majority of their forces. While I was uh, providing ranged fire, my ally just charged right through like a wave of, uh, wave of destruction and 
At this point, I charged in my samurai, I believe. Is that my samurai? Yep. My samurai were just cutting through theirs. They're even spear samurai, which aren't as good in melee combat as uh, katana samurai. And they've just been flanked. That's the end screwed. They have no chance of getting out of that. So I noticed that his commander or his general is vulnerable up here. Now, I noticed him earlier in the in the trees, and I think I sent my cavalry earlier to get him or to rout him. And no, sorry, I lost my cavalry at the start. I sent them. I just charged them and start just to break the enemy lines. In fact, I think I was the one who destroyed the majority of their actual forces. I was too distracted in this right hand flank here to pay much attention, but I. Remember sending my cavalry in here at the main force to try and break their lanes a bit, and then after that I sent them my uh, spear or my yari Ashigaru, the pigmen, and they did some considerable damage, like shock troops, stormtroopers. Uh, now this is all he has left. He has a few groups of men here, and my uh, samurai are cutting the, the rest of their forces, the remnants of their forces down in the woods. These uh, monks, warrior monks, who are actually wielding katanas. I don't think they wielded katanas, they must be uh, bowmen. They usually use a uh, naganada, like a type of spear, blade, like a large blade on top of a stick. It's a pretty awesome weapon. And I just sent my general a little bit too late to get some of the glory, but we won that battle with very little difficulty, and yeah, we creamed our enemies here. Minimum, well, I've got quite a lot of losses, but my enemies lost almost all their forces here. I tend to just yeah, save, send in like uh, Ashigaru, and then at the end, after they've all, they've whittled down the enemy, but they've lost most of their numbers as well. I send in my samurai, and the samurai just cut them down. Samurai are just so kick ass in this game. And it was a victory for us. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe. There will be a lot more. This channel is still active. I do many playthroughs of uh, different games, including York Arena of Time, Darksiders 2, uh, Kingdoms of Amalur. And they will be doing more of these in the future, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.